It's Natalie Haglund, Sarah Shaw, and Alexis Oldard. Coach, you want to start with an opening statement, and then we'll open it up to questions. Well, I'd like to start by saying congratulations to Washington. I, I thought uh, they hung tough under some great, uh, great odds. I thought we played very, very well uh, in the match. I'm really proud of our team, and I'm sorry we didn't win. Uh, but, uh, you know, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, and we came up a little short tonight. Uh, I, I had four freshmen and sophomores in the lineup, and the only way that we could play with, with that kind of youth was great leadership by our seniors. Uh, I think these three uh, are wonderful Trojans. I think they uh, exemplify uh, everything that a Trojan stands for. And I, I was really proud that they fought like Trojans. So. Questions? Well, it's tough to ask a question. I actually feel bad for you guys. Was that like one of the best games you guys ever been in? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to. You have to give your hat to Washington. They played an incredible match, and I felt like we played an incredible match. So. You know, it's tough, but going back to it, it was just an incredible game. And one of the games that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, being able to play with this group of girls with, you know, 15 of my best friends all in one area and um, just feeding off the fire. It's really incredible, obviously. I'm bummed that we lost. But, you know, in that kind of a situation, you have to take this opportunity and, you know, really look at it as a positive and take wonderful things out of it and just for them for the future. I, I, I'm not a volleyball expert, but I didn't see any breakdown on, on your side. What did turn the tide there in, in, those, in the end of the match? I think everyone just played their hearts out. You know, that's, it's to get to the final four. It's a huge game. Everyone played amazing. It's just, they had a little extra. So. Just all the way. You the way you did, it's just, just amazing. Just, eh, you got everything up, it seemed like it's just, just incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess it's hard to articulate heartbreak, but, yeah, but what's the emotion of, of this moment? Um, I was telling the girls in the locker room, the only reason why I'm crying is because it's the last game I'm going to be a Trojan, you know? It's the last time I'm going to be able to play on that court um, with my best friends, and I'm not bummed about the loss. Obviously, winning that game would have been incredible, but I'm going to remember this team and that moment for the rest of my life, knowing that we gave it everything that we had and we couldn't have given it anymore. You know, it's always horrible to lose a game knowing that you could have done something better to win that game. But looking back on it, I realized we really couldn't have done anything better, you know? Maybe we could have gotten one better dig in the last game, like point, but it never works like that. We played our hearts out, and I'm so proud of the young girls that came in and stepped up. You know, those girls have such a bright future, and I'm really excited to see what's in store for them. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm going to try to look on the bright side, and that is that it was an excellent performance by our women at Troy and by the Huskies. Um, we saw the excellent performance by the freshmen. What is this? What does that show for the future when you three aren't here, and what do you think is going to be the future of this team, and how proud are you that you helped mold this? I mean, they took us to the Elite Eight. I mean, that's pretty special for them. They're incredible players. And so just to have this experience, they're going to be even better next year and lead the team to great things. And one follow-up on that is that you were working with Elise Rudens on the right side. And how did that team out, that team work feel from your end? Because we thought there were a lot of blocks that came out of that. I mean, we just needed to stay low, press in. We just used our technique that we've been practicing the whole year, and I mean, I think that got us a few blocks, so, but I guess not enough. <laughs> did you sense anything that, or detect anything that Washington did, did better in the final three sets that they weren't doing in the first two sets? I mean, I don't necessarily remember anything, like, right off the top of my head, but um, all I know is that we are just battling back and forth, you know. You can see the emotion in our faces. Each team just wanted it really badly, and um, you know, 
yeah, ended I mean, up like it did. Yeah, the first two sets, I mean, they were pretty deceiving because, yeah, we won both, which usually is, like, considered, oh, like a killing in volleyball, you're winning the first two, but <coughs> we won them, what, 26-24 and 25-23, and that could go either way in any situation. Same thing with the fifth, fifth game. You know, that could go any way. Um, ten times that we play, it's going to go back and forth who wins that game. So um, Washington could, did a great job of, you know, staying and playing their game and keeping the passion and keeping the fire and dominating the basics. But um, it's a battle, like Sarah said. I hope this is not any kind of insensitive question, but Van Sant really got on fire there, especially in fourth. So she had 14 kills in the fourth set. Was there anything she knows from her that got her? Got her going, or she was doing better than she had not been doing earlier in the match. I mean, Van Sant's just a great player. Um, you know, she's incredible in every aspect of the game, and she turned on when she needed to turn on. You know, that's what a lot of great players do, and um, she's a really good player. So we expected her to, you know, go on fire. Um, she helps that team with the kills, so uh, that was her job, and she did it really well. Just had a Quick question for the three seniors. Um, just taking a look forward, I'm going to keep it on the brighter side. Taking a look forward, where do you see yourself at this time next year and your careers and your futures? Any plans? I think all of us want to play overseas. Um, I think that's a great opportunity for us, and I think it'll be a lot of fun and a different experience. Yeah, um, same for Nat and I both and Alexis. I think we all um, would like the opportunity to play overseas. Um, you know, it, like she said, it'd be a great experience for all of us and, um, you know, keep on playing the sport we love. Yeah, I think the same. I mean, it's really difficult for a libero to go overseas these days. Um, so obviously, you know, I'd love to be given any opportunity that I can get and hopefully I'll get a contract or if anyone wants me, I'll go play. Um, otherwise, hopefully go to grad school and continue my degree and um, see where that takes me. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, you want one more question? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, sure. They reduced their errors. The reason they the reason they lost the first two sets partially was that we were pretty error free, and they were very high error for them. There were seven and nine errors, in the, and those are just the hitting errors. Uh, and I thought we put pressure on them, and that caused some of that. And uh, that was good for us, and and hard for them. Uh, really, the the third set, we kind of killed ourselves by making too many errors. We we probably contributed seven hitting errors in that third set, which gave them a chance. Had we not made those errors, uh, that met that game, that third set would have been a lot closer. Uh, it would probably have been a two-point set also. I'm not saying we would have won, but I, I would say we would have had a better chance to win. And that's kind of what young players do. They make errors. Now, Washington's not a young team. They're, they're a pretty experienced team. And uh, I felt like we throughout the season were chasing them because they had a chance to go to Europe. They had a chance to be one step ahead of us all the way, and we were trying to get our young kids to grow up. Uh, that's the first thing. They reduced their errors. The second thing is we weren't able to pass uh, as well as we did in the first two sets and, and sets three and four, and therefore we couldn't use our offense behind as well. If you notice, Ruddens was good early but, but couldn't score in the last three sets simply because we couldn't get the ball in a position for our setter to deliver like we practiced. So that put a lot of heat on Shaw to have to produce, and we don't really get her to produce that much. And that way she's there to pass and play defense and do the things that she does so very well for us. And as a four-year starter, she's been amazing uh, to do that. Uh, Wanabu kept us in the, in the match, in fact, was amazing. Wanabu, if she's not the best player in the country. She's the best freshman in the country. And, uh, and there are a lot of good freshmen, but I've not seen one like this before. I mean, she's one of the most amazing kids. And 
she came out there uh, just before uh, we lost in the fifth game, and she just kind of grabbed me, and her whole body was shaking. Sorry for asking a Washington perspective type of question, but your impressions of Van Zandt's play tonight? Uh, Van Zandt was incredible, but, you know, I, I, I just, 38 kills she got. Uh, and I, I, for the life of me, can't understand why we can't put our hands in the angle, okay? <laughs> so I am really sorry. I think Van Zandt's great, but <laughs> I just, I, I think I must be the worst coach in the world because I can't teach my kids to put their hands in this angle. And, you know, uh, you, here's the deal on Van Zandt. Serve, receive, she's either in the one six seam or sharp angle, wrist away. In transition, she's corner. And I've got the best libero in the country. And she couldn't get it right either. So sometimes it, in sport, it just happens that way, you know? It, it, you can say it, you can put it up on the board, you can draw the picture. And uh, 38 kills is going to send me to my grave, you know? I just, uh, I have to give Krista, just, you know, Jim put a lot of pressure on her to carry the team. And she stepped up and did that. And, uh, so they have a chance to win because they can count on her doing that. And, uh, and uh, I thought Ebony was amazing staying right with her back and forth. In fact, if we could have gotten the ball to Ebony, Ebony would have maybe 38 kills too. And, Jim would probably be saying he's the worst coach in the country because he can't stop a freshman, you know. So uh, uh, it's kind of the way it goes in the coaching deal. But, uh, you know, I thought the last two nights were real volleyball. I'd like to have played this kind of volleyball all season. I thought my team finally... grew up. Where they could do this. It's kind of thrilling when they do. Then you get greedy and you want to win, too. So. One more question in the back. Good question for Coach. Uh, quick thing, Coach, you've taken a look forward to 2014 um, recruiting class and prospect picks. Yeah, well, we have a good recruiting class. We have four, four kids, three in the top ten, the way they, uh, you know, that's like football recruits. And they're in the top ten, but. Will they be top ten when they get here and that sort of thing? We have four kids we really like. Uh, we have point scorers. You saw our freshmen. Uh, I think my setting's going to get better. Uh, I was really tickled with Haley Crone. I thought she just did everything we asked her to do. And uh, Pisa Segola for freshmen that's changed her whole technique and had to adjust to the culture and had to learn a new word called defense. Uh, you know, it's just been amazing to see her grow also. Uh, but our real problem for next year is serve-receive. We lose Sarah Shaw and Natalie Haglin, and they are two, if not the two best passers in the country, two of the three or four best passers in the country. I mean, they're passing at a 2.8, 2.7. That's why Washington tried to serve every ball to Samantha. Great for me because that just means Samantha's going to be good next year because she has to pass all these balls. Uh, but Samantha was a 1-9 passer last year. She's passing at a 2.25 this year. What great improvement by Samantha. And then she was trying to carry the team tonight after last night's exceptional effort. And she got to the point where her legs went, and she kind of doubted herself for a short time. And then she came back. So now we've got growth from Samantha. So if I can ask her to lead like Van Zant leads Washington, and if she can grow into that, uh, We'll have a good team. If we have a great team, we'll have to have uh, Ruddens and Ebony passing because I want Ebony playing six rotations next year. I, that kid deserves to be out on the court. She's going to be a world-class athlete uh, of the highest rank. Uh, and she loves to play. And you know the best part about her? She's a pleaser. She wants to please you. How many coaches get people that want to want to please them, you know? So I want all the Ebony's I can get, and I want all the seniors. I can. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.